Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to talk about this brand new um, product from Juvia's Place. It's called I Am Magic Powder Foundation. I know they have a liquid um, already in this, but I am not a liquid wearer. I'm a powder foundation person, so when they came out with this, I was super, super excited. Um, I had to order mine online. I still haven't been able to find it in store yet at Ulta, but hopefully it's coming. Um, Juvia's Place does their colors kind of funky where um, the numbers kind of go backwards. So guessing my shade, I think I went terribly wrong. However, for the sake of this video, we are going to make it work. I got the shade, uh, there's light two, and then I got, I believe, light three. I think I should have went with light four, or I'm sorry, with light one, and then I should have went with maybe medium one. Um, but that's okay. We are going to make these two shades work. Uh, this is what they look like in the pan here. Um, you are getting, it looks like nine grams, which is pretty standard and they are $18 a piece. Um, they have like this plastic case and the typical just like sponge there at the bottom. Um, I'm going to try this with a sponge and a powder foundation brush like I always do. Um, I have my concealer on. Um, I'm doing my concealer differently. So let me know if you guys like how the finished product looks. Um, I've been trying to play with it to get the best look for me with the least amount of concealer on. So with that being said, let's do this. I think I'm going to go with um, light two, I think. Um, even though I think light three has a better undertone, we're going to give this a whirl. I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Co Coverage Brush. This is kind of a retractable flat top kabuki and kind of go from there. I'm sure it will look better with a sponge, but I want to try a brush because I have a feeling this is going to be more matte coverage and sometimes that looks better um, if it's buffed in. It looks a little less chalky. Um, I do have some breakouts as you all can see. Not seeing a whole heck of a lot of coverage. Just do another layer with that. It's very sheer with the brush. So let's just dig in and go in with the sponge. There's the coverage. And yes, it's a little light, but we're gonna make it work. That is the joy of picking a color online. I kind of liked building it up with the brush first and then doing the sponge. So we're going to do that just because I think it gives a smoother looking canvas. It's a little more work than I was planning on to put it on, but hey, if it looks good, it looks good. Okay, I gotta blend it in nicely with the brush. So let's go back in with that sponge to get some more coverage where I need it. There we go. I have some dry patches, so I am not gonna fault the foundation for that because 
I think everything would catch on that, to be honest. It looks okay, but I just assumed I would like this a little bit better. Like it would be more coverage right off the bat and it's not as coverage as I thought it would be. For some reason, every time I dip in, it's kind of making my skin red, which is odd. I mean, it could just be the friction and all of that, but I don't know if it's ingredients or what, but I just think that's a little strange. I definitely think it's more work to get the type of coverage I'm after, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back in with that powder foundation brush and we're just gonna blend because I think it'll look better. I just think the color matches off and so maybe that's why it's looking a little funny. No, it just, there's something about this. It just, I'm not, I mean, I'm building, I'm packing, I'm doing everything I can, but it's just not really looking great. It's not bad, but it's just like, it's almost like it's not there. Like it says it's a powder foundation, but I just, it just doesn't look great. And it kind of looks like it's oxidizing, but only in like certain spots. I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's translating on camera very well, but it's definitely doing something funky. Okay. So I'm good with that coverage. I'm gonna try to work with this little scabby I got going here. He's terrible looking, I know. Um, but I'm not gonna fold the product too much for that because I think everything would look dry right there. So when I come back, all my makeup will be on and my thoughts about this powder foundation from Juvia's Place. All right, guys, with the magic of YouTube, I am back with all my makeup on and I have some thoughts for you. So as you can see, I don't have any um, I didn't spray it with any makeup setting spray because I want you guys to see how it just does it. It looks dragged across my face and it looks a little dry. Um, granted, I, I know the color does not match, uh, but it's oddly gotten darker <laughs> the longer I've had it on. So it's definitely not my color. I should have maybe went with the one with the golden undertone that was lighter. Probably would have worked better than this one. This one definitely, um is pulling very orange on me, but that is okay. We are making it work for the sake of the video. It is what it is. Um, I have lip liner on and a lip oil. I know someone's gonna ask, so I know that's a trending look and I'm doing that right now. Um, first things first, it had a ton of fallout kick out. It's like all over my sweater. Don't know if you guys can see that. That's extra annoying. Um, I wear white all the time and I don't normally have that problem. It's not just on one side, it's on both sides. So that means it's a very dusty, flat kind of powder. It does say on the back of the box that it is a soft matte with long lasting with natural ingredients infused that tighten and shrink the appearance of large pores and excessive shine. I think it will work fine for shine if you're someone who gets shiny. It definitely has that matte quality to it. However, it just doesn't look very skin like. It looks very flat and very dull on my face. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two setting sprays because I just feel like this looks very sad. I'm gonna do the professional first. It's that ultra fine mist, kind of just helps make my face look nicer. And then I'm gonna go in with uh, the All Nighter by Urban Decay, the classic. It really does need to be sprayed, um, especially because if you don't, it just look like a dry chip. 
there's no way around it. And I'm not a super dry person. I am a little drier just because it is winter and it's cold. Um, but for some reason, the whole time I was putting this powder on, it didn't even want to show up. And then once it started showing up, it started changing color and getting darker. So that in itself makes it not for me. Um, I keep wanting to like a newer drugstore powder and I just don't like them. Um, I'm not impressed with this at all, which is a shame because I'm used to, uh, their other products, which I love, which are their, their blushes and their eyeshadows, which are super pigmented and fabulous. This is a big letdown for me. Um. I know on camera it may not look as bad to you guys as it does to me in person, but I mean, I'm straight up like Oompa Loompa. Like, it's like at least three to four shades of the wrong color. And I've even tried like um, putting bronzer down my neck to kind of help even it out just for the sake of the video, um, which is weird because it's a light shade. I just think the undertone's wrong and there wasn't a lot of information. Mind you, in the pan, this thing looks super duper light, but as you can see, this is what's on my face and it just oxidizes. It's just very, very weird. Um, and it's a dry formula. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's all that powder stuck there at the bottom. It just kind of got all over the place. It was messy. Um, there was nothing like nice about the texture. It felt very dry, just like most matte powders do. There's no velvetness. I tend to like a velvet matte or a velvet like satiny finish or even a natural finish. I, just, I don't need something glowy, but I also am finding that like super stark matte isn't looking very good either, especially in the winter when your face is um, or at least most people's faces are a little bit dry. So overall, I think this is a big dud flop. Like I don't recommend this. I'm sorry. It's a no. It's a big, big pass, which just sucks because I love powder foundation, but I, and I think the packaging is beautiful. And I think a lot of stuff that Juvia's Place does is wonderful. And I think, um, the price is good. The packaging looks good, feels good. Um, but the product itself is lacking for me. Um, I just don't like how it looks. It doesn't look good. Also, too, the shade is not right. Even if I went down a shade, I, I don't think it would help much. It might, but it's just a no for me overall. It's very patchy. It looks dragged across the cheek. It was um, patchy. Even while applying it, it was turning my skin red, which obviously, yeah, you're touching your face and whatever, so you're going to get a little red, but the, it was like red blotchy. So I don't know if the ingredients just don't agree with my skin either. Um... But it's a big no. I mean, there's cornstarch in it. There's lots of silica. It has kaolin clay, so it's definitely going to be absorbing. Um, it has talc listed as the first ingredient. Um, titanium dioxide. It just has a lot of um, dimethicones also listed. Glycol. I mean, there's just a lot of things in there that I don't know if my skin agrees with, and I'm not judging it, but, um, you know, for a powder foundation at $18. I just think you can wait until higher end powder foundations go on sale and they'll be what, 20, $26. And I just think it's money better well spent. Um, this is definitely a big flip flop for me. No, no go. Um, so as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday in the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures and I'll catch you guys on the next one.